Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. And thanks for being here. Another brand new week to enjoy together. Brand new season of Pat Gray Bingo starts this very day. And if you want to play along, uh, we've got this week's card for you. We'll get to that in a second. It's also pinned to the top of Pat Gray Unleashed Twitter X page. Uh, you'll be listening for these things to occur during the show. And when you get a bingo, that could be, you know, just like regular bingo. Across, down, diagonally. Then you'd be the first to call, 888 to win fabulous prizes. Ooh, selected. That's a bingo. <laughs> especially for you. <laughs> wow. Uh, so... It's like uh, $30 merchandise yeah. from PatGrayShop.com yep. and a dozen cookies from Kexi.com. Uh, so pretty good. I mean, it's, uh, it's valuable. You're pushing $100 worth of merch there. Wow. Uh, we're going to play this game every week through August. So you got more than five months to possibly win. You can win once, once per season. Uh, so here's... The bingo card All right. for this week. Inaugural. We s- starting in the upper left-hand corner with uh, reading a tweet about someone wanting or someone shutting off the show. <laughs> Apparently somebody pissed. Right? <laughs> uh, Jeffy saying, do people. Get your do people on it. Uh, with Trump, we had money. With well, Trump, we had money. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody says, Chris. Well, I guess I say Chris is not from America originally. <laughs> uh, also, X, formerly known as Twitter. Oh, goodness. Mentioning Big Mike, mm. Michelle Obama, <laughs> and the theory that she's trans. Uh, Trump saying, She's not my type. Okay. She cost him $81 million. Congratulations oh, on that. Brother. Uh, Keith. Oh, boy. Mentioning the Falcons losing to the Patriots. After yeah. being up 28 to 3. Got it. Okay, mm-hmm. thank you for that square. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kamala Harris. See what can be unburdened by what has been. Right, yeah. By what has what been. What can be unburdened by what has been. Oh, we got some so fun bizarre. stuff with her today. Oh, good. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, Jeffy saying, it's almost as if. <laughs> Whatever. Fill in the blank. Uh, Joe doing a fake jog. <laughs> oh, pay close That's attention a visual, today. a visual thing. That might okay. be coming up later. Wow, really? Oh, it might be. Okay. Uh, talking about Foreigner being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which this year could actually be a reality. Uh, Pat Screech about something <laughs> on a very special episode. Uh, then we got the avocados. Avocados from Mexico. Keith mentions. Calvin Coolidge. Mm-hmm. Good president. Great Shout president. Out cow. Uh, KJP. I don't have anything else to share. <laughs> Uh, Jeffy saying, uh, don't look at me like that. Then we've got uh, Joe. Watch me. Just watch me. The pr- pretentious snob voice mm, sounds a little something like this. Usually that's got its own like, musical accompaniment with it, too. Usually, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, then uh, starting out the bottom row, this is Madness. <laughs> uh, we're talking about some do- documentary I just watched. <laughs> that's a free square, too. Uh, if the Earth didn't do what it does, I think that's the CBS thing, right? If if the ocean didn't absorb two hundred or all it, all the heat that it absorbs, we'd be two hundred degrees hotter. So I reached out to uh, the keeper of all sound, Rowdy Introvert, who runs mm-hmm. Patheads dot com. He's still looking for it. He oh, said he? he likes a challenge. All right, uh, well, good. That's just, a big one. Yeah, because I could. I I've looked for it a few times. Me I too, can't find man. it. Me too. Uh, Keith. Oh, uh, they said the quiet part out loud. And then the decrepit Joe Biden voice, which sounds like, anyway, anyway, I've I've said too much. Uh, It was quite a weekend, and uh, we got a jam-packed show as a result. Um, But again, every day is jam-packed, right? Every every day there's, people tell me this all the time, well, you certainly got enough to talk about, don't you? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, and that's because everybody realizes that we're in a quagmire right now. <clears throat> and every day, that quagmire gets a little di- more difficult to negotiate. Geez, that thing in Moscow over the weekend was yeah. horrific. Sure is. 
anywhere from <clears throat> 130 to 140 people uh, killed in that shooting by ISIS. ISIS is already taking credit. They're trying desperately to blame Ukraine for it. Hmm. But ISIS already said, yeah, we did that. Okay. Um, you, you believe it was Ukraine? <laughs> I mean, there's a couple of theories. Uh, that I got Ukraine it deeper did than it. that, man. There's a theory that Russia did it to themselves so they could blame Ukraine. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Any so. other theories you've heard about? Mm. <clears throat> Are you trying to make it into us doing it? Oh, what's that? Is that what you're trying what's to do? What's that? Um, I have not heard that one. Uh, yeah, what, I want to know what the CIA knew and when did it know it. Uh, remember, we warned Russia two weeks ago about this, but here's a little thing that I printed up here. Uh, let's see. This is just the uh, thing. It says, uh, Vladimir Putin vowed to punish those responsible. One of the deadliest Russian decades. U.S. officials have attributed <laughs> the attack to ISIS-K. <laughs> Uh, a branch of the Islamic State that has been active in Iran and Afghanistan. So, I think at the very least, this ISIS-K, based partly in Afghanistan, probably, and I, and I have no idea, let's wait and see, I want to know where these weapons came from. Were they left behind by us in Afghanistan? Mm. So I think that's the best case scenario. But, uh, no, I mean, mm. this is... I don't trust us on Nord Stream 2. One of yeah. the things we talked about with uh, Alex Jones well, coming up in Pat Gray Overtime. Said. Oh, that's right. Yeah, let's not forget mm -hmm. that. We got an hour-long <laughs> interview, almost an hour. I think it's 50 minutes uh, with Alex Jones today that you don't want to miss. That's on Overtime. So our, our subscribe has quickly. Our has a history of being involved in things that uh, maybe the, uh, the, the general explanation isn't always accurate. So I'm going to sit mm -hmm. back and I'm going to just watch. Mm -hmm. But I trust no one, least of all our government in this. Because <clears throat> this, I, it's just, mm -hmm. the, the timing on this is just suspect. How about that? They said they arrested all four gunmen mm -hmm. who carried out the shooting. Uh, in fact, uh, they didn't, apparently they didn't treat him real well once they arrested him. Can you believe <laughs> One of that? them lost Russians? his ear. Yeah, one of them lost his ear oh, and was no. forced to eat it. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, they jammed it into his mouth, tried to get him to swallow it. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's hard to have any sympathy for him, but oh, yeah. that's pretty sick. Yeah. That's twisted, man. And, and, and I don't even think we mentioned what happened. They, they, The four gunmen went to a concert hall that was jam-packed with people. And yeah, 6,000 people there for some band called Picnic. Shooting up the place, then set the building on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, kudos to a 15-year-old kid who was in there that led over 100 people to safety. Oh, jeez. Uh, wow. Just, it, That's it cool. Was, uh, yeah, it, some of the video mm. is just out of there. It's just it's, it's horrific, it, it as horrific as you can imagine. It was just a terrible slaughter, though. Yes. I mean, awful. Yeah. You know, you remember uh, Las Vegas, about twice as many people were killed. And there's another 107 in serious to critical condition in the hospital right now. Mm -hmm. So that death toll could go much higher. Oh, uh, I hope it doesn't, but just you dreadful. just don't know. Can so imagine. Yeah. Uh, Ukrainian military intelligence spokesperson, Andrei Yusov, told Reuters, uh, Ukraine was, of course, not involved in this terror attack. So there you go. Done. He said they weren't. Said they weren't. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Which is where the guys were headed toward. Ukraine is defending its sovereignty from Russian invaders, liberating its own territory, and is fighting with the occupier's army and military targets, not civilians. Islamic State has a strong motivation, they say, to uh, uh, hit Russia, because Russia, of course, intervened against ISIS in Syria's civil war in 2015. They've been there ever since. So there's no love lost there. This could absolutely be as simple as, yes, ISIS did this. Okay. I mean, it could be. Or or it could be a way to preoccupy Russia with something other than Ukraine. It could be. I don't know. I mean, I pff, nothing surprises me nothing, anymore. Absolutely. That's the bottom line in everything we talk about. Nothing, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, surprises us anymore. Mm -hmm. So they did catch the people. Um, whether or not we'll ever get the truth out of the Russians... Who knows? You got to leave the Can't one. Can't even get the truth out of our own government, yeah, let right. alone Russia's. And it's sad that we even, <laughs> and I'm, I'm speaking for myself, that like I even have to consider I know I our government that. involvement in anything that. like this. But uh, you got to leave the one ear on on the bad guys because you got to be able to hear the questioning. <laughs> you know, like because you right. got you got some questions for this cat. You're going to want him to at least be able to hear you. You yeah. need to have to write every question down. That'd be time consuming. As they were, uh, I saw a video. I didn't watch the video of them. Uh, apparently, there's, I think there's video of them cutting off his ear and forcing him 
to eat it. Gosh, I just read about that. I didn't hear that. I didn't but, even hear that part. But then afterwards, his face is all smeared with blood from where they obviously kept trying to jam it in his mouth. Nah. I think he was resistant to that a little bit. Really? Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly, he resisted. Uh, but the video shows him with that uh, blood smeared all over can his I, face. Can I get some Tabasco sauce first, please? <laughs> yeah, I know, at least. No. I don't know, a little salt, pepper, oh, God. some kind of seasoning. I don't know how I missed the you're going to eat your ear yeah. part of the story for that. Oh, and they no. Weren't, they weren't messing around. Uh-uh. Not happy campers Mm-mm. after that thing took place. Interesting to see where this trail leads. Yeah, it will. Uh, all right. Also, here, closer to home, uh, Joe Biden signed the bill into uh, into law. I'm so excited for that this. That is the $1.2 trillion, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. And that, stop gap measure to get us to September. Gap. Yep. So just about, what, five months or so of uh, mm-hmm. expenditures covered. Yeah. With $1.2 trillion. And this is after the other six bills passed couple weeks ago remember that mm-hmm. so i think we're over two something trillion just Jeez. to cover the last six months of expenses and what happened to the individual bills that we were supposed to get mike johnson yeah where are those so after the vote took place and after congressman mike gallagher of wisconsin announced he's leaving congress that's bad it's already 218 Which, to yeah. 213 yeah 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 and Not you've good. got four vacancies pat mm-hmm. right so in theory and i don't know how all the states that have these vacancies coming up I, I don't know how they work. Does the governor assign them? Is there a special election immediately? I mm-hmm. just don't know. But right now, I do know that it's 218 to 213. We could be down to one. It could be down to one. could be down to one yeah. vote yeah. difference. Yeah, it's... Which it's, is terrible. Yeah, I mean, there's because you, you can't rely on some of these guys. So what then? Yes. Yeah, you might as well have a Democrat majority at that uh, point. Yeah, we are dangerously close Bad. to a Speaker Hakeem Jeffries. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Oof. Like if all five of these vacancies flip, yeah. ta-da, not, Democrats. Not, not good. <laughs> so uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene was not happy. Here's what she had to say. What Mike Gallagher did yesterday was intentional, purposeful, and puts our entire majority at risk. Um, I think he should be expelled uh, preeminently before he's allowed to just walk out of Congress at a date of his choosing where his district doesn't get to replace him um, until next Congress. Mm-hmm. I think that is completely wrong. I think people uh, should should be able to have a voice. His district mm-hmm. deserves a voice mm-hmm. in Congress, and we should expel him, and, and that way his district <clears throat> can replace him as quickly as possible with a special election. Um, mm-hmm. Our majority is too important to throw away. And the and the horrible, um, dishonest, and and completely irresponsible actions of many in our Republican majority have led us to where we are. When people leave early, it's a math game. They're the ones that put us put us at risk of losing the majority. Every member that leaves early puts us at risk of losing the majority. Mm-hmm. Expelling Republican members for a Democrat to control and take over the seat like they did to George Santos. Puts, at, puts, puts us at risk of Hakeem Jeffries becoming the Speaker of the House. It's not me putting in a motion to vacate um, like a pink slip, letting Mike Johnson know that his speakership is over, and also informing our entire conference that we need to come together, move forward, and start the process, And no matter how long it takes, to decide who our next speaker is going to be, one that the American people will trust, and one that will not do the bidding of the deep state and the CIA and the continued effort to destroy America. So that's where we're going from here. And this process may take a while, but I think it's the most important. Yes, painful. I don't care how painful it is. If you want to leave this country, you better get ready to be uncomfortable and get comfortable being uncomfortable because we have a job to do. And our job is to save America. And that is not an easy task. And it's not Uh going to be quick. It's going to take us a long time. Wow. All right. So, it, it's. I mean, it's what she said. We are completely unsettled in the House of Representatives. Yeah, among Republican lawmakers. Yeah, but hey, at least at least the government doesn't shut down, right? I mean, you you can't count on Republicans. Uh-uh. It, haven't haven't been able to do that for a long time, but especially now, you just can't count on them. I mean, this one point two trillion dollar spending bill is so bad, so bad, and it's been pointed out by many: Thomas Massey, Mike Lee. You know, th- they show how much grift there is in this bill. And it's asinine. We can't afford this right now. We can't afford it.
No. Eh. Remember, we, we need to demand that they do a budget next year. Just yeah. absolutely demand it. Mm-hmm. Stop. And you can't spend one penny over that. <laughs> you remember how on Friday we were talking about the funding for the group that provides chest binders for kids and yes. surgery. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't even know what an LGBTQ uh, old folks home is, but there was funding in there for that. Mm. But along those lines, this is very funny. Um, the spending bill signed by Biden included... <laughs> see, this is what happens when you don't read the bill. Mm-hmm. Uh, the spending bill signed by Biden included an effective ban on pride flags at U.S. embassies. The White House says they're working with Congress to repeal that provision. No, no! No, this is the bill we had to rush through. I'm sorry, you can no longer fly your rainbow flag at embassies overseas. Uh, they had some opportunities, so that's the good news. There's very little of it in this. Mm-hmm. But you've got um, every single Democrat senator. This is a Ted Cruz qu- uh, tweet. Uh, on the ballot in 2024, voted in favor of Biden sending billions to Iran, against deporting illegals who assault police officers, against the Lake and Riley Act, and uh, for flying 320,000 illegals from their countries into the U.S. That was a big thing where you could have stopped this overnight flights that the Biden administration learned from Obama is just flying into your communities, these illegal aliens. And nope, they voted. Democrats said, nah, we're going to let that get through the Senate, too. So here we are. Fun times Mm. in America. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your tax dollars at work. All right, let me take a minute and tell you about Undertech. <laughs> you already know about uh, the Sierra Whiskey Company. The people that brought you Undertech, the revolutionary boxers that are just changing the game, now they offer socks, joggers, T-shirts, sweatshirts, all made in America and all embody the same rugged spirit you've come to expect from Undertech. Their socks are made of battle weave wool. That's five times stronger than merino. Their ring-spun cotton hoodies and joggers are incredibly comfortable, and every Patriot needs the EDC t-shirt three-pack. Remember, Undertack isn't your typical men's boxers. They're made with Modal, and that's light cotton, just way better. It's 50% more moisture-wicking, antibacterial, and it's just a lot softer. Stays in place with a sturdy but comfortable extra-wide waistband. The fly design is great. Undertack, it's durable, it's lightweight, it's fade resistant, it's, sh- it's shrink resistant. And if all that's not enough, they also donate a portion of their profits to organizations actively in the fight against human trafficking. Just great people and a great, great product that you're going to absolutely love. Stock your drawers with it today. Undertack.com. That's Undertack.com. Get 20% off site wide when you use my promo code PAT20. Exceptional comfort, twice the guarantee, and a fraction of the price. Undertack, undertac.com. That gray is unleashed. Yeah, this thing wasn't even close, by the way, over the weekend in the House or the Senate. The House passed this uh, atrocious bill, 236 to 134. 101 Republicans voted for it. And then it passed the Senate, 74-24. Yeah, yeah, let's let's see this. So these are the uh, uh, these are the Republicans. So if you see your representative up here, you can be sure to call and thank them today mm. for, for making sure the, the federal government didn't shut down. Look at those names. I see my rep on there, but she doesn't care because she's retiring. So she doesn't care, Kay Granger. But uh, look at those names, mm, man. Absorb mm, that. Mm. Look for your state there. Right. And is your rep on there? Looking then for my guy. Mm. He's not on it. Oh, good for you. Yeah, how about that? Braggart. <laughs> <laughs> but several te- Texas. Uh, yeah. Carter is on it. Crenshaw. Gross. Dela Cruz. Crenshaw. Uh, Patch. LZ and uh, Granger. Yeah. Oh, and Mike McCall down in Houston. Oh. Mike McCall. That's cool. The so what's the next what's him? the next graphic we have? No, these are the um, mm. so these are the uh, Republican senators that voted for that it. Voted to spend oh, what all a this surprise. money. John Cornyn, Cornyn, Texas, there. who's also about to uh, well, he's gonna he's trying to become minority leader right now. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Deb Fisher, boy, that Tea Party. Graham, jeez, Lindsey Graham, Ernst. of course. Give Lisa Murkowski, who is saying now that she might actually switch parties. You might as well. Uh, and then maybe Alaskans will finally vote her out of, out of office. Yeah. I hope she does switch parties. Yeah. That'd be great. It, it's like you're just going to make it official, basically. Yeah. Lisa. Right. 
Uh, Mitt Romney voted for oh, wait, it. Go of back, course. go back, go back, go back. Jeez. Oh, Look at these names, y'all. Uh, Thune. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Thune. Uh, Mitch McConnell. Had the body of a Greek god. Uh -huh. Came into the Senate bathhouse. Okay, uh, so then the. <laughs> naked as a jaybird. <laughs> What's the next? Oh, these are the good guys in the Senate. Who voted against yeah, it? Who voted against it? Uh, okay. Barrasso, good list. Bennett, Blackburn, Bud, Crapo, Cruz, uh, Danes, Haggerty. Mike Lee, of course, as uh -huh. always, did the right thing. Josh Hawley. There's, uh, there's old uh, Cruz and Lee. John, Where would we be without them? We got a great John Kennedy clip later. Yeah. Uh, yeah let's see what else stuff. here. Ricketts. I love Ricketts. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. Not much. Uh, hope. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but though. you got 24 That's nays. Fine. Yeah, and the twenty-four. Oh, this map That's is it. is really interesting. Thank you for putting this up there, Joe. So this map will show you, um, uh, if you could if you could read it there. So so the the yellow there, the the tan colored thing is mm -hmm. Republicans who voted for the spending package. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and then the next color, the dark blue, Democrats uh, voting for uh, the spending package. Now, right. the red is the good. Those are Republican districts that voted against the oh. spending package. Wow. And then the light blue is Democrats who voted against. <laughs> There's like two. I think Massachusetts and Vermont. I don't huh. see anything else I'm there. surprised any Democrats voted <laughs> I against know. it. Amazing. So red is bad on this list. These are Republicans who should know better. Jeez. Uh, or no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Red, huh, red against, is yeah. Red is good. It's the opposite. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, red is good. And then the tan is is where Republicans should know better. The tan color. I'm sorry. Yeah, hmm. it's confusing. It is, but it's uh, but there it is. It's where we are, I, I, it's mm -hmm. so avoidable. But whatever. I'm they glad. just they don't care anymore about spending. Spending doesn't mean anything. Well, things will get better once we get that uh, uh, McCarthy speaker guy out of there. We'll replace him with someone and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That'll once take, they got rid yeah. of the last guy. Yeah. And look how good it's been. Been so good. And, right? and then, wait, no, because now they're trying to get rid of him, too. So maybe it hasn't been that good. Huh. What an illegitimate Congress. I know. Honestly. It's, it's despicable. And so so Marjorie Taylor, I mean, she's called for a, a vote against Johnson, but she hasn't brought it to the floor yet. So right now she's just kind of in the holding pattern. But, hmm. I mean, this dam's going to burst, and we're going to have our own little GOP civil war uh -huh. in the House for the rest of the year, probably. So that'll be fun. Won't it, though? And then that chaos will translate into Democrats. Hmm. Never mind. Hmm. I don't like, Jeez, I don't I like this not. trajectory. Hmm. Man. <laughs> if they do the right thing, you know, if they do the right thing, they would gain some loyalty. But because they never do, they don't get that loyalty from people. Mm -mm. We just, I mean, although for the bad Republicans, they, they'll still get voted back into office every time because yep, they know they don't have to worry about that. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, on Friday, with so much going on in D.C., mm -hmm. President Braindead Joe Biden uh, decided it was time, you know, to maybe do a little rest and relaxation because it had been... 15, 20 minutes since the last time he'd what, had a vacation. That long? He yeah. went 20 minutes? He went 20 minutes. Not a full 20 minutes. Between I think it was vacations? Eight, 18 minutes. 18 between, minutes. Yeah. Uh, so we went back up to Delaware. Okay. Uh, and again. Oh, no. <laughs> what is the deal is with the grass and pavement with this guy? Let's watch. There it is again. Yep. Yep. Okay. The little fake jug. And thing. that's it. Okay. So rewind that, Joe. Because <laughs> I got to take a close look here. Uh, of of the seam there between He's the grass. so unsteady. Is there any kind of uh, elevation there at all? There's nothing. No, it doesn't look like it's it. It's just flat. <laughs> okay, so I'm I'm reading this uh, weekend. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, every time. Fake jog Every time Joe. he goes from pavement to grass, he's got to do the fake jog thing. So, a lot Weird. of nursing homes, Weird. like they'll put a black mat in front of the door uh -huh. because old so people with see. dementia will think, oh, no, there's a big hole there. I don't want to fall into it. Seriously. Is and it that keeps real? them. Yeah, it's real. Oh, wow. It keeps them from escaping, mm. going out in the parking lot <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it's, it's something there huh. with his dementia, but it's different there. You see what I mean? Yeah. He's going off of black. Maybe he thinks he's climbing out of a hole. <laughs> and like, oh, there's green. Now I got to... I don't know, man. Unless the grass reminds him 
this is about where the reporters are picking up my walk, <laughs> and so I need to fake jog for them to Look. show how spry I am. He is so. I don't know. It is. It's a. There's a thing there, though. <laughs> Vigor, man. <laughs> it's tough, man. Longtime Democrat strategist James Carville has blamed his party's polling problems on quote too many preachy females unquote. <laughs> <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> and compared looking at Biden's remarkably low <laughs> approval ratings to walking in on your grandma naked. <laughs> He's a colorful guy. He, he is, man. Makes you miss the 90s. Uh, you can't get the image out of your mind, Carvel said to the New York <laughs> Times, Maureen Dowd. The outspoken political consultant who rose to national prominence Leading President Bill Clinton's successful 92 presidential campaign is back on the trail, raising money for Democrats. Thanks for that. And working on a documentary. Bet that's going to be good. (laughs) Uh, Biden's approval rating sits at a lowly 37% right now, even after his big-time, wonderful, fabulous, so good State of the Union address that everybody on the left loved so much. It just reinvigorated him and his supporters. Uh, Carvel, though, not one to mince words, said that the feminine focus on woke stuff is killing us and could cost the party the election. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he's most concerned about Biden appearing to lose support among black voters who form one of his strongest bases. A suspicion of mine is that there are too many preachy females dominating the Democrats' culture and message, he said. Don't drink beer, don't watch football, don't eat hamburgers. This is not good for you. The message is too feminine. Mm -hmm. Everything you're doing is destroying the planet. You've got to eat your peas. (laughs) If you listen to Democrat elites, he said, NPR is my go-to place for that. Oh, yeah. The whole talk is about how women and women of color are going to decide this election. I'm like, well, 48% of the people that vote are males. Do you mind if they have some consideration? Uh, Even he's getting a little bit frustrated with things. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's great. (laughs) All right, well. Will they do anything about that? Honestly, you've got two parties playing to lose. (coughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Somebody's going to end up with more votes. Well, and one one of the parties is uh, really good at finding them. So (laughs) you you figure out who's going to win in November. (laughs) Uh, But it's like somebody said recently, uh, you'll find out later today who said that, uh, if it's a landslide, there's not much they could do about a landslide. Mm -hmm. So if Trump wins by eight or nine points, you know, you can't overcome that with your cheating methods. Whoa, whoa. As a rule. Are you alleging something, Patrick? No, I'm just saying that... You're saying hypothetically. Hypothetically. If there were plans to cheat, cheat, you wouldn't be able to overcome them with um, uh, overnight uh, truck arrivals or ballot drops or voting machines. You're saying Mm -hmm. hypothetically, which is a complete Mm -hmm. hypothetical here. Completely. You're saying if it's a blowout in favor of the Republicans, Donald Trump, you're saying you can't overcome that with fraud. No, you seem to get what I'm... Hypothetically speaking. You're picking up what I'm putting down. Yes, sir. So good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Uh, so it needs to be it needs to be huge, right? Uh, and we'll see if it is. I mean, I just saw uh, there's a story over the weekend where Biden's ahead in eight polls right now. What? How is that possible? Come on now. I that doesn't include the uh, the swing states, which continue to go in favor more and more for Trump right now, and that I mean that is probably more important than the national polls. I mean, he's up by eight points in Michigan, Donald Trump. Eight points in Michigan? Wow. That And again, an eight-point spread would be pretty tough to overcome through cheating. You know, just to, again, on that hypothetical plane that mm-hmm. we were existing in yeah, I got a you. few minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we got that coming up. Yeah. Uh, a lot of chaos at the border. Oh, what boy. a surprise. What? I thought the border... The border was secure. Yeah. Huh. That's what I heard. That's weird. Mm-hmm. I love how uh, the Biden administration responded to that video that went viral of hundreds of illegals overrunning the National Guard. Uh, I like who they blamed. We'll tell you about that uh, coming up in a minute.
Pat Gray Unleashed. Arriba, arriba. Great to have you with us. Got some tweets here. DMX DM. Nibbling on an ear will probably be the nicest thing that happens to those killers in Russia. Could be. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be them. No. Right now. No. From Dan Judge. Why do I have the feeling our CIA or some other agency or actors may have helped ISIS coordinate the attack on Russia in some way? In this day and age, wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's sad that we even Mm. think like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's be frank in Pennsylvania. Didn't the ex-president puppet master who created ISIS just visit Downing Street? (laughs) Was that to brief an ally? Do we know (laughs) what they talked about, Obama and Rishi Sunak? Nothing has come out. I don't think so. Nothing has come out. I mean, what do you? I mean, just some random visit from a former president to a current prime minister. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. They were just catching up over some tea and cigars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Bloodbath Sasquatch. It doesn't really matter who did the attack in Moscow. The Joe Biden administration will find a way to blame Trump and MAGA. Yeah, they blame him for everything. Mm-hmm. Nuclear barf. <laughs> Let's get rid of the Speaker of the House again and again. And again, because that always works. Mm -hmm. Uh, OG Thor, that voted for list is just a leaderboard for the person that will take Mitch McConnell's place. Yeah, right there. Yeah, he's exactly right. That's right. Whoever uh, ends up replacing McConnell as the leader for Republicans in the Senate, it's going to be one of these individuals here. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be Mike Lee. It's not going to be Ted Cruz. It's not going to be Rand Paul. No. Mm -hmm. (sighs) Those guys don't even try because they know there's no there's no use. They don't want to be embarrassed, I think. And that's what would happen because they're too good for that job this is the problem. And with all the chaos at the border, uh, we got an update on what happened with those illegals who oh. who overwhelmed the Texas National Guard last week. Okay. Listen to this. Do you know if any of them did make it into the interior of the United States? Listen to this. Yes, many of these people mm. did get processed by Border Patrol <laughs> under Title VIII, which is what is typically used for the what we know as catch and release. These oh. are people that are mainly released into the country. So this sends the message God. to people around the world no that kidding. even if you act like this, you uh-huh. can probably get into the country. Yeah. And I think they continue to push these boundaries right. and to see what they can get away with. And here they got away with some really, really scary stuff and, mm-hmm. you know, assaulting, appeared to be assaulting mm-hmm. some of the National Guardsmen. Appeared it was totally to be. out of control. Sure. Yeah, but now they're now they're uh, catch and release. They're, they're in your town, America. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's and wonderful. Border uh, Patrol closed that area to the media as well. Yeah, yeah, we got a clip that'll detail some of that uh, coming up, actually. But I, I do like the Babylon Bee headline. Media says... Border crisis, not an invasion. It is simply a group of military-aged males using force against our military to enter and occupy the country. But not... (laughs) But not not an an invasion. invasion. So please, good. watch your definitions. All right, is that the same take Senator Tim Kaine from Virginia had? Oh. He was just asked by Shannon Bream yesterday on her show uh, if this is an invasion. Would you consider this an invasion, and is there more we could be doing with respect to pressuring Mexico? Um, I don't. I don't think it's an invasion. It's no. it is an immigration no. crisis. Right. It's oh. a national security issue. But I think you got to be careful throwing around words like invasion. It was it was that kind of wording that really? led the deranged guy to go shoot up the what? Tree of Life synagogue in in Pittsburgh, uh, killing folks a couple of years ago. And I think that kind of rhetoric that? is irresponsible. Oh my! Gosh. Oh, that's asinine. That's just absolute, <laughs> absolutely asinine. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a guy rhetoric. The weather. What are you talking about? We are not a serious country vice president kamala harris was also asked about that border incursion Mm. did you watch that border video down in el paso and does that send a message to americans that the border is secure we are very clear and i think most americans are clear that we have a broken Uh immigration system and we need to fix it right yeah yeah and you know whose fault it is (laughs) of course it's uh donald trump's is that right yeah it's donald trump's fault uh, <laughs> but she's the border czar. She's, I know. She's in charge of this. Stuff. I know. And by the way, Donald Trump hasn't been in office for three and a half years almost. <laughs> so how is it his deal? 
Well, because. Okay. Because, that's, just, that's about it. Hold on, that's about as good as they've got. I was waiting for this explanation, and you're saying that <laughs> yeah. the answer is it's Donald it's because, Trump's fault because. because. Now, they said they're grateful. We are grateful for Border Patrol's quick work to get the situation under control and apprehend the migrants. Apprehend them. They let them go into the interior of the nation. When the former, here we go, when the <laughs> former president told congressional Republicans to block the bipartisan border security agreement, mm. he said to blame him for it. Well, he got his wish. <laughs> and the result was chaos mm. after Governor Abbott's operational Lone Star and Razor Wire were overrun yesterday. While we cannot comment on individual cases, anyone who does not have a legal basis to remain in the United States is promptly removed. What? what are you talking about? We what? Just, we just let those guys catch and release. Oh the report said gosh. so. Hey, do you? Oh have, my God! Do you have the chart uh, joke that you could put up here of uh, immigration here under Joe Biden? Um, this right here. This is this is fun. We had uh, 190,000 illegal immigrants encountered at the southern border in February, which is the highest total for the month in DHS history. A 338 percent increase from the average February under President Trump. So we're up 338%. Now, obviously, it's probably because it was a leap year month. Leap month, right? There's that extra day. Got that extra day. So that probably Yeah, that's why you screwed had the numbers triple up. the illegals no, pouring across the border. Leave that up. Leave that up. I want you to see this. I mean, this is every year under Biden. It's just gotten worse and worse. And and now we're we're the orange line now. So we're higher every month in this fiscal year. Then the other three, as bad as they were under Joe, they've all been worse since October. And we just, we're not, there's a just no way country. to legitimately blame Donald Trump for this. And yet they continue to do it. They continue. Yeah. And now it's easier, by the way. Um, this is, this is fun. It's easier for illegals to move about freely through the airport. Uh, I think it was part of this package. Something happened where, where, you're standing in line at security checkpoints, but the illegals no longer apparently are going to have to, from what I understood. Oh, good. Well, Something. they live there, too. So That's true. That does. Look, I'm a resident here. <laughs> yeah, I get to yeah. get by. I get to get through the line quicker than you because I live here. <laughs> all right. Are they well, getting that's their, a good point. Are they having their mail forwarded to O'Hare? Yeah, all mail is going to O'Hare. That's good. DFW. And, yeah. Okay. JFK. Wherever the illegals live, that's where their mail is going now. So <laughs> that's good. We are not a serious country. Uh, here's a video meme that says it all <laughs> regarding Kamala Harris and the border. I love this. This is our border we czar. It. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're doing video memes, huh? I like yeah, that. Yeah, it's good. Okay. There's one of Joe, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's just enjoying it. Loves it. Is eating his, ice, his cream. ice cream cone. Yeah, that I mean, that's honestly that that is the way they handle the border situation. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Real America's Voice, Ben Bergham, was at the border over the weekend, and he was detained by the border patrol down there. God. Check this out. We just got the full border experience. We're down here shooting our next episode of Law and Border. We came up on 60 to 70 illegals that have been sitting there all day. Basically, Border Patrol said they didn't have time to deal with them. And as we're coming out, this happened. So I'm actually in the back of a Border Patrol car right now. Uh -huh. As we're coming back filming the invasion of our country, we're actually stopped by Border Patrol and law enforcement. They're bringing each one of us out of the vehicle. Well, yeah, because you're a citizen. Head, so. And behind our backs. <sighs> guns drawn. Like we're criminals. Wow. While Washington, D.C. is supporting uh -huh. the cartels. <laughs> and all while this is happening, we've got 60 illegals just standing by the wall. No problem. They can walk on in. Sure. Brandon just got added into this yeah, vehicle, guys, uh, down there. Yep. and now he's actually in handcuffs. Brought out of the car at gunpoint no. with handcuffs. While our country's being invaded, mm -hmm. we're down here exposing the invasion. They're more worried about us than they were are about the are. 60 guys right. that are back behind us, that they're just letting stay here. <sighs> wow. We are sitting in a patrol car. We got Harry in another one. We got Jack in another one, and, and uh. Uh, Ben in the other one. 
This is insane. We've got one, two, three, four, five units out here dealing with us that are just exposing what Joe Biden's doing. Mm -hmm. They don't care about them. They care about us. Unbelievable, guys. God bless law enforcement, but <laughs> let's go Brandon. This guy's got to go. This whole administration. Bad boys. What, what you going to do? Gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> you got to send oh. It's so good. All right, guys. So here we go. We're, we're safe. We're free. We're not arrested. But guarantee one thing. CNN, MSNBC, Fox, they haven't done what we just no, did. No, no, no. Full, full mm. experience. I love that. Full interactive experience. And we were gentlemen. Yeah. We were gentlemen. Yeah. We comply. We were yep. God bless them. Mm -hmm. God bless our law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. I mean, we joke about that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That it's, they're less tolerant of American citizens than they are of this illegal alien invasion <laughs> it's hard to believe it really is and yet we see it every day right before our eyes uh you know what else is unbelievable and that's the fact that america is experiencing some drug shortages <clears throat> i mean things like amoxicillin life-saving things like amoxicillin are in short supply and you in some cases you can't get it that's where the jace case comes in this is a uh uh little pack of five separate antib antibiotics that you can get uh, and just have them on hand for whenever you need them, whenever a, some sort of bacterial infection occurs. Yeah. And if you're like me, you you probably know what you have yeah. when you get certain symptoms, right? Yeah, and you never know what's coming across the border. <coughs> That's true. Same. I mean, we've got things like leprosy coming across the border. In uh, Florida right now, they're having outbreaks of leprosy. <laughs> I mean, come on. Now, you know what can knock leprosy out that they didn't have access to in Judah Ben-Hur's time? <laughs> What's that? Uh, antibiotics. Oh, yeah. that's good Antibiotics stuff. Antibiotics can stuff. cure leprosy. So uh, this is really nice to have on hand. Super convenient, uh, just in case there's any shortages or you know, inconvenience, or you're just away from your doctor and your pharmacy. To have this means everything. Go to jacemedical.com today. Enter the promo code PAT at checkout, and you'll get a nice discount on your order. That's promo code PAT at J-A-S-E, jacemedical.com. Pat Gray Unleashed. Uh, let's go back to Kamala Harris for a minute. Uh, she was visiting Puerto Rico over the weekend. This is fun, too. I love this. Oh, man. <laughs> Some locals got together, performed a nice song for her. Yeah. This is interesting. Okay. Uh, watch what happened. Oh, Popping along, yeah, having a good fun, time. Right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Woo! We're just all having fun. <laughs> uh, now our interpreter's explaining something to her. What's that? Uh, here's what they're saying, Kamala. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't clap and smile then. I'll just nod my head. Nod! <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. She was put in a really yeah. tough situation. There. Boy, they don't like her down there at all. They apparently don't like her. Wow. Because yeah. what they're what they're singing is mm -hmm. uh free Palestine and Haiti too. Wait, hold on, hold on. There's more even. Oh, yeah. good. Okay. Um so so when she arrived Protests lined the street. Uh, they had signs directed at her. And that right there, apparently they were singing, We want to know, Kamala, what did you come here for? Long live free Palestine in Haiti, too. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe I'll stop clapping now. <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> in so an interview, she was asked uh, about a lot of things, including Israel and Hamas. <laughs> We have been clear in multiple conversations and in, in every of, way that any uh -huh. major, military major military operation right. in Rafa would be a huge mistake. Let me tell you something. I oh, have tell me something. studied tell me. the maps. No, oh, the maps. There's nowhere for those folks to go. She studied maps. And we're looking at about a million right. and a half people in Rafa who are there because they were told to go there, most of them. Uh, and so we've been very so clear they've that, been very clear um, that you... it would be a mistake. To move into Rafa with mm. any type of military operation. Oh. Oh, a mistake, okay. but would there be consequences uh -oh. if he does move forward? Well, we're going to take it one step at a time, Whoa. but we've been very clear in terms of our perspective They've been very on clear whether or not that can happen. Of, Are you ruling out that there would be consequences from the United States? Mm. 
I am ruling out nothing. Oh, well. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. okay. Well, there you go. Time for some more clapping and song. <laughs> Free Palestine. Free. Yeah! And what Haiti. am I doing here? <laughs> yeah! In Haiti, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wait, aren't you from uh, Puerto Rico? Is yeah, that... weren't, weren't you not an American citizen? You just recently uh, moved here, mm-hmm. right? Yes, I'm from Fairly Puerto recently Rico. became an American. I did become yeah. American. What do you oh, have to say about it. this right. uh, <laughs> protest against our vice president, sir? Uh, unacceptable. Is, uh, are unacceptable. things pretty... Do you remember? I mean, how long has it been? It's been over six months since you left Puerto Rico, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, just as soon as I started in this show, you guys <laughs> actually sponsored me with yeah. a visa to come to, to no, work. That was really nice of yeah. us. I appreciate a, you guys. Unknowingly. Yeah. Not a proud moment for this you show. And yeah. your citizenship. Not a Thank proud you. moment. So, is it... Is it fairly liberal there? Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there 100%. is there any chance they're going to vote for Trump? State, right? They'd be they'd be terrible. They would be a oh, terrible yeah. state as a voting 100%. state. Two yes. more senators. One hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. We don't want them. You absolutely not. Sorry, we don't, I don't want, want you. them. Okay. Yeah. And it has. <laughs> even he doesn't, he doesn't want, want them. <laughs> his hometown, his home state, yeah. his home place, country, whatever it is. Island. What is it anyway? It's, it's an island. His home island. Yeah. Uh, surrounded by water, water, big water, big water. Okay. Big Ocean water. water. Ocean water. <laughs> uh huh. So so she's there talking about the maps, and uh, she's seen the map, right? I mean, and she has a, a great. Water, big water, ocean water. Mm-hmm. Great, Thank you. Great perspective on on maps, mm-hmm. as we recently learned with Ukraine and Russia. Well, she's super knowledgeable. She's super knowledgeable. Yeah. <laughs> Here's where she explained. So you can play the clip here. Yeah. So Ukraine is a country in Europe. In... It exists next to another country called Russia. <laughs> Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Russia okay. decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine. Oh, so wow. Wow. basically that's wrong. So ba- really? <laughs> Wait. She's good. Why? She's so good. I mean, if the bigger country can take the littler country, why don't they just do that? Why is that bad? It's, I don't understand. It's not fair <laughs> that such... <laughs> Uh, a, a genius, yeah, yeah, right. is being held back. I know by an office that does nothing. I know the vice president. That's a really good point. We've got a genius in the vice president's office, mm-hmm. and she's just being blocked mm-hmm. by lesser talent, lesser brain power. She's really sad. <laughs> really See sad. what can be unburdened, unburdened by by what has been. What has been, right? <laughs> mm. So good. <laughs> Uh, and there's much more brilliance that we will share with you as we continue to make the apocalypse fun. Coming up. Pat Gray Unleashed. Pat Gray is here. I am. On the Blaze Radio Network. Uh, she's not lying. Uh, welcome. Thanks for joining us. 888-900-3393. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. It's uh, YouTube.com slash Pat Gray if you want to go to us there. And make sure that you uh, click on the bell so you get the alerts. Uh, we update that a lot. Uh, Chris does a really good job of providing new material for us on YouTube. And make sure you rate and review the show and the podcast so that it increases the Likelihood that others are going to describe, uh, discover us as well. Mm. Um, the Sweet 16, all ready to go. Oh, yeah. And it looks like uh, it'll be North Carolina State, whom BYU beat, against Marquette, Gonzaga versus Purdue. Man, okay. Purdue destroyed Utah State. Did you see that? Yeah. It's like 108 to 67 or something. Yeah, Oof. That's, Oof. that's similar to the... Uh, the the Duke uh, James Madison game actually yeah Duke J- Duke destroyed James Madison uh, at least you know Ooh-wee. at least nobody you know put James Madison in the final four <laughs> <clears throat> huh there's a lot of marks on my bracket uh, I got mine too seven out of sixteen uh, right? this is interesting did you see that BYU destroyed more brackets than any other team oh no nine point three million what Nobody thought they were going to lose to Duquesne in the first round. Nobody. Everybody. I mean, I thought I thought Kentucky's loss would have provided more, you know, bracket busters. That's but my only. Man. That's my 
only brag in this entire That's amazing bracket. that you got that. No, no, it's not. It's just stupid, dumb luck of, yeah, me, I guess. of me getting yeah, to this true. point in the bracket and going, you know, I don't really have a big upset yet. Yeah, let's go with Oakland. It's <laughs> worth noting, too, that uh, the the powerhouse that brought down BYU, Duquesne, yeah. <laughs> got their anus kicked by <laughs> Illinois. Ah! You could have you could have been there. Could have been there. You could I, you could be in the Sweet 16. Mm-hmm. If only you could just gotten it together for mm-hmm. five minutes at but a time. They couldn't. They couldn't. This yeah. happens to them every time they get to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, Nebraska was short lived again. 0 and <sighs> 8. 0 and 8 all time in the NCAA Man, tournament. And they've only made eight tournaments. Yeah, I didn't know it was that few Jeez. until the graphic came up during the game on yeah, Friday night bad. and said 0 and 7. And I'm I think at that point in the game I was already starting to go. Well, you've always eight. you've always, always admitted eight. it's not a basketball school. It's no. a volleyball. Thank school. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we're known for. <laughs> it's, a, it's a women's volleyball that's school. All so we're, get off that, them. That's will the you? only get thing we're them. known for at Nebraska: <laughs> women's volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a fact. <laughs> yeah, right. No now women's it kind basketball. Of is. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. I'm not paying a good attention to the. Uh, the uh, is Caitlin Clark and and her girls? Are they doing great in the uh, women's? I'm um, clearly I'm paying close I'm sure attention to that. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm sure. Okay, they got West Virginia coming up. Uh, they made it uh, today to tonight. The, oh, yeah. it, they're not to the Sweet 16 yet, are they? Uh, or are they? Let me just. I don't uh, think so. Let me, this is like a cram session before a test here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just checking here. Uh, oh, okay, so Nebraska women lost to Oregon State. Uh, oh, boy. That stinks. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, again, I, I don't know it's how a volleyball many... school. So thank you. Four, six, <laughs> eight, ten, twelve, forty. Yeah, they're in the Sweet Sixteen. Uh, okay. Of the of the women as well. All right. Uh, we got Creighton, Tennessee next week. Um, let's see. That's only. Oh yeah, back to the men. Uh huh. Yeah, back to the men. Okay. Uh, Clemson, Arizona, UConn, San Diego State. That should be a great game. That's another team BYU beat. Oops. Not UConn, but San Diego. San Diego. It's State. been fun. A lot of overtime, double overtime games. Oh man, there was a good game with uh, Creighton and Oregon. Yes, okay. Creighton Oregon, which went to double overtime, okay. and then Creighton just uh, kind of took them apart in the second overtime. But man, that was close. I got them in the final four. Thank you very much. Alabama, North Carolina, Iowa State, Illinois. So Iowa State and Houston are the only Big Twelve schools left in oh. the tournament out of eight. Uh, okay. Six already down. Uh, all right, we got some tweets here. Uniparty monger. Might as well start calling Congress the Department of Spending. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's been the case for some time. Carl Smith. I feel so much better now that Kamala has spoken so forcefully about the border crisis. Yeah, and other things, too. We're not sure what she's speaking about, but she's speaking about <laughs> no. them powerfully. <laughs> From Furian Energy, why even put officers at the border? Oh, that's right. We need people to... But to put the American citizens at gunpoint when they try to cross. <laughs> that's that's what they're there yep. for. Yep. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, all right. You know who understands the conflict between Russia and Ukraine more than any other Democrat currently in elected office? It shouldn't be difficult to understand. John Fetterman. John stinking Fetterman. And that's, uh, that's Russia and Ukraine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, he also... Uh, uh, with uh, Hamas and, and Israel. Israel, yeah, yeah, that's where his really strong suit is. Yeah, he sat down with Fox News over the weekend. Fox News <laughs> and said this. And I've always been incredibly surprised why we're not talking about where this was because of Hamas and the things that they've done, and that why aren't there is a a protest kind of a surge to demand that Hamas to surrender on this you know if you really mm-hmm. want to end all the this you know just the misery and the death and the destruction mm-hmm. just if they would just surrender and it would end mm-hmm. tomorrow release everybody send them home um and that's been very frustrating and then mm-hmm. we're talking about now there's 31,000 palestinians that were were killed and, and the, the, well, you're not talking about, well, 13,000 or more are actually Hamas fighters on that. <laughs> so why aren't you breaking that out as well, too? Oh, and then wow. if you do and talk about the, uh, uh, the the casualty ratio, it's actually very clear that this isn't a genocide or that the Israelis are targeting mm-hmm. civilians. In fact, the only ones that target civilians, that's Hamas. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, he's great on uh, yeah. Israel Hamas. He's great on that issue. I I tell you. I plus there's been some healing there in the mind, mm-hmm. right? Cuz he couldn't speak like that before. Well, yeah, there's a lot to this interview and uh and and I 
they they show at least how he's hearing the interview questions. But yeah, as far as just coherency, yeah, yeah. I would also like to point out the the not so subtle Israeli flag in the background. Uh, and he's the only person oh, yeah. in politics that I've heard talk about. Yeah, when you talk about the number of people that uh, mm-hmm. Israel has captured. Uh, or, or killed is is the uh, Hamas fighters right? No one's breaking it out like that. Also, the thirty one thousand figure comes from Hamas. We don't know that that's accurate. Yeah. We don't know they've killed thirty one thousand people, mostly women and children. That's garbage. Can we get some votes from John Fetterman though? Yeah, because that would have been yeah. helpful in the Senate over the would weekend have. if he had you know voted with common sense yeah. there. Yeah, but you can't have it all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, we have so much more from this interview with him. Uh, we'll need to get to that later. If if not if not later in the show, then maybe on Overtime tomorrow. Because Overtime today features our Alex Jones interview. That's 50 minutes. You get some bonus minutes in the Overtime period today. Noon Eastern. It's about an hour long. Um, and it'll be on Overtime today. You can sign up at blazetv.com. Use the promo code PATBINGO30 and you get $30 off your subscription. Okay? BlazeTV.com, promo code PATBINGO30 to get 30 bucks off and get your hour-long conversation with Alex Jones later on today. That's, uh, I, I, you know, I was surprised. Perhaps you will be as well. Uh, kind of fun. So, did you see this from the Babylon Bee? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the photo? Yeah, let's get the... Uh... All right, show the photo. Trump uh, sneaks back into the White House. <laughs> and invokes squatters rights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's that really is good. Good stuff, man. Funny. Former President Donald Trump successfully had President Biden evicted from the White House Thursday after successfully sneaking back into the White House and invoking squatters rights. Surprise, Trump said, <laughs> as he jumped out of a secret passage, revealing he'd been living in the walls for the last 30 days. Oh, that couldn't have been fun. <laughs> it's me, your favorite squatter. Now get out, Sleepy Joe. I live here. Don't worry, I'll fix the country while you're gone because you're doing it. Terrible job, frankly. (sighs) Biden's Secret Service detail was powerless to stop (laughs) Trump. (laughs) Sir, he's got squatters' rights. We can't do anything uh, to his airtight legal situation. Uh, He's got immunity. Got immunity. Let him go. Mm. He's the president now. (laughs) I'm the captain now. Though Biden is expected to challenge Trump's unwelcome possession of the White House, legal experts suggest it's likely to succeed. Squatters are people, too, D.C. District Attorney Fran Wallace said. Frankly, I'm offended President Biden would suggest otherwise. Mm -hmm. Squatters' rights are human rights. Yeah. (laughs) At publishing time, Trump claimed the right to the presidency from the evacuated White House, citing Article 2, Section 5 of the U.S. Constitution. So I guess we're... (laughs) We don't even need an election now, apparently. Uh, We got got the squatters' rights uh, invoked there. By the way, you you know that, um, uh, I don't know, a couple days ago, there was a rumor. NBC News reported that Donald Trump was thinking of uh, Marco Rubio as a vice presidential running mate. Really? That would be... Mm. That would be shocking, I think, if that happens. And then RFK is supposed to announce his running mate tomorrow. And did you see there's a GoFundMe for Trump's uh, trying to... Because today's the day that he has to front that money. Oh. $355 million. And mm-hmm. so uh, somebody started a GoFundMe. It's already raised over $2 million. I mean, it's a long way to go, but just a GoFundMe <laughs> for Trump's legal issue there. Uh, wow. $2 million. Some people are thinking he's just going to declare bankruptcy. Hmm. I, uh, you know, I don't know. Do you allow them? Do you just go ahead, take Trump Tower. That's what they want. So, take it and see how the American people respond to that. It'd be interesting. Did we have a tweet from a Pat Head last week that said they would turn yeah. Trump Tower into a place for illegal aliens to live? I, I, I seriously think yeah, that wouldn't surprise that me. That would not surprise me. <laughs> not at all. In New York City. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Speaking of New York City and squatters' rights, did you see that uh, this, these uh, two guys um, are being sought for murder? Uh, two squatters, mm. they they killed a lady and put her body in a duffel bag. And I mean, just 
And these were apparently squatters there in New York City. Did they kill the homeowner? I mean, yeah. Oh, that, that's who's oh, in the duffel bag. Oh, yeah. jeez. Wow. What, I mean, it's out of control how right now. is this a thing out to of begin with? I don't know. We have this lady uh, talking about a family friend oh, and yeah. what she's going through in Arizona. I am not joking when I tell you my mom's friend from high school went on vacation, came home, and there are 12 gang members living in her home. And she's called the police. They won't do anything. And they just said their exact response to her is, we will not help you get them out. You have to continue to pay the electric bill and your mortgage and go get a hotel. Are you kidding me? Her husband was military of some sort and has since passed away. Explain to me why squatters' rights are even a thing. I don't even know this woman, and I am infuriated. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Us too. Exactly. Imagine if this was someone you knew or you, how pissed you'd be. Yeah. Oh. I'd be in jail (laughs) because I would go into my house and get them out and Uh physically remove them. So uh, it Mm -hmm. it wouldn't be pleasant. Somebody sent us this video of oil pouring out of the earth in the Middle East. Seemingly out of nowhere. Wow. Just, just coming out of the dirt, the sand. There she blows. And creating a nice oil lake. <laughs> He's saying, let's, wow. let's go pollute the earth with fossil fuels because we got some more here. Something <laughs> loosely translated. Uh, How cool is that, huh? That's cool. They didn't have to dig down for that and f- uh, through layers, right? Mm, I no. It just was right there. Was I don't think they were digging for anything, were they? I don't think so. I don't think so. I just what a I fissure. Saw. No. He <laughs> just starts pouring out of the desert. It's because we have too much. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. we do. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> really is. Somebody's rich now. Somebody's I was going to say, what's the value of There's that There's going to be a, a huge tower there, an indoor <laughs> ski resort, yep. uh, restaurants, uh, yeah. probably a driving range on top of a, a tall building there. Megalopolis yeah. is going to spring up around it. Uh-huh. Uh, crazy. I like seeing that. Speaking of fossil fuels and the left trying to eliminate them, though, of course, they're the cheapest and most accessible form of energy, mm-hmm. and I believe... Renewable. Uh, anyway, last week, Olympic skier Gus Schumacher was in front of a Senate committee where Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana went to work on him. What is what is carbon dioxide? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I went to high school, but that's uh, carbon yeah. dioxide is a, uh-huh. a gas. It's a gas. Good, good, Gus. Okay. I'm not. A, I'm not a. No. I'm not a professional to talk about. Well, then why do you keep so babbling much, about it? Well, you, you mm-hmm. want us to abolish it, right? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> there's always going to be carbon dioxide. Right. Mm. So, so what is it you want us to do? <laughs> I... Uh, let, me, let me back up, because I, I want to... I mean, you're here as an expert. <laughs> Tell me more about what carbon dioxide is. I'm here as an expert cross-country uh-huh. skier who sees the changes in uh-huh. my winters and... Mm. the landscape that I live in in Alaska. And so carbon dioxide is mm-hmm. what I see it as is, you know, it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere. And what? Is it the major part of our atmosphere? Or? It's a huge part of our atmosphere, yes. Huge it's actually part. a very small part of our atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. Sucker. Well, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you asking specifically? I, I, well, you said we need to reduce carbon dioxide emissions i'd like to know first if you know what it is <laughs> you Which want us to abolish doesn't. fossil fuels i never said that you never have said that mm. no okay what what do you think we ought okay. to do with fossil fuels what will we do with fossil fuels yeah uh. should we make any changes <laughs> i would like to see a decrease in the use of fossil fuels i think uh, there's a possibility mm. to mm. use more electric generation oh, okay over cool. uh, w- over what period of time Mm-hmm. 10 years, 50 years, 100 years? Like That's not today. I would like to see it come as fast as possible while continuing. How fast? On. Sorry? How fast? <laughs> he doesn't know. I'm not, I don't have any. Yeah, you don't know? That. No. no. Okay. He doesn't know you anything think, well, about this. Uh, how, how much will it cost for us to uh, yeah. become carbon neutral in the United States by 2050? Yeah, no idea. I'm not a professional on that. I don't <laughs> know. You don't have any idea? Mm. No. You, you just think we ought to spend the money? I'm not an economist. Yeah, but it's going to cost money. You realize that? 
Yeah, but we've also talked about the, the trade-off of what the cost of climate change as emergencies will cost in the future also. So. Right. But it's going to cost trillions of dollars to become carbon neutral by 2050, right? I do not know. You, know, he doesn't know. you just think we ought to do it. <laughs> yeah. I I don't have a great answer for you, but I think yeah. I would. If, if we spent, if we here, spent those trillions of dollars and became carbon neutral by 2050 in the United States, um, would you advocate how, how much will it reduce world temperatures? <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. You don't know? No. You just think we ought to spend the money and then see what happens? <laughs> <laughs> I think. As an athlete, That's I think if great. we spend that money and invest in our future, uh -huh. hopefully those hopefully. temperatures stop rising. Yeah, we'll and hope. maybe the snow at least stabilizes where it is for me. Uh -huh. But, yeah, uh -huh. I don't think anyone yeah. knows for sure. I don't know anyway. <coughs> yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> wow. What a powerful witness. Yeah. It's a huge part of our atmosphere, CO2. Yeah, it's, it's <clears throat> four one hundredths of a percent of our atmosphere. Point zero four percent. Actually, it's point zero three five percent, but I was rounding up for him. It's a huge part of our atmosphere. These people don't have any idea what they're talking about. No. They don't know. They don't care to look into it. They're, they, he just bought into everything his teachers told him growing up in high school and because he skis and sometimes it snows less than other times <laughs> he thinks we need to completely redo our civilization that's great people are suffering people are dying well that's true that's true wow. i could go a lifetime without hearing that voice again oh she's the worst mm, yeah and there's more to that conversation <clears throat> uh maybe we'll have to get to some more yeah, of that yeah uh, uh, tomorrow yeah there's yeah. some good stuff there all right. Uh, when it comes time to buy or sell a home, you need an expert at your side, somebody who can see it through, see you through the entire process, and not just say, well, good luck, hope it works out for you, but somebody who helps you sell your home and get the most money for your home, or if you're buying or maybe you're doing both, so you want to get the most home for your money, that's where real estate agents I trust come in. These are experts in the field. They're, they're people with great marketing plans and great track records. And they've actually sold homes in the past. They know what buyers are looking for, so they can advise you on what to do to sell your home and get the most money out of it. Um, you know, do you need to change the countertops? Are they dated? Maybe remodel a kitchen or a bathroom? Uh, maybe change the flooring in your house? They'll know. Real Estate Agents I Trust. This is a free service we provide to you, and then uh, you just take off with your realtor and um, and hopefully sell your house for what it's worth, or maybe even more. Real Estate Agents I Trust. The name says it all. Realestateagentsitrust.com. Pat Gray. Join the conversation. 888-900-3393. Pat Gray Unleashed. We'll be right back. Get a few tweets here. Pat Head T tweets, Keith, since Jeffy isn't on the show today, you need to tell Pat that Mega Millions Lottery okay. is up to $1.1 billion hmm. for the Tuesday night drawing. Thanks for the reminder. I'm making a note right now. I'll and sure to... remind Pat, you can't win if you don't play. Mega Millions. There you go. I mean, right. Yeah, you can't win unless if you play. You don't play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chromium Cat PR team. <laughs> the left probably likes leprosy. It makes the body parts just fall off. No need for surgery. Mm-hmm. Right. Underrated tweet. Joe's gibberish translator. The early story was that armadillos are the leprosy culprits. We've peacefully coexisted with armadillos without outbreaks all my life and my grandparents' lives. So is there a surge of armadillos crossing our border? It must be what it is. Uh-huh. Stumbled onto it right mm -hmm. there. Right there. <laughs> Mexico's president said Friday he will not fight Mexican drug cartels on U.S. orders. Uh, he said over the years, 
We've laid out various justifications for hugs, not bullets, policy of avoiding clashes with the cartels. In the past, he has said you cannot fight violence with violence. And on other occasions, he's argued the government has to address the causes of drug cartel violence, ascribing them to poverty or a lack of opportunities. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that seems like a problem in Mexico, too, since millions of their citizens are fleeing that country, coming to this one. (laughs) But on Friday, while discussing his refusal to go after the cartels, he made it clear he views it as part of what he called a Mexico first policy. We're not going to act as policemen for any foreign government. Mexico first. Our home comes first. Really? Huh. Wow. Uh And again, why are so many people fleeing that country? If you're so concerned about making Mexico better. Oh, man. Yeah, I saw that cat on uh, 60 Minutes last night. I don't like the cut of his jib. He's got an attitude. He does. I don't yes, like him at all. No, I, I don't either. He's no friend to the United States, that's for sure. <laughs> of course, we're going to cooperate in fighting drugs. He said, above all, because it has become a very sensitive, very sad humanitarian issue. Because a lot of people... A lot of young people are dying in the United States because of fentanyl. Yeah, nobody dies in Mexico. Let's keep that in mind. <laughs> Jeez, man. Over 70,000 Americans die annual because of uh, fentanyl. Mainly made in Mexico from precursor chemicals uh, smuggled in from China. Hmm. And then, uh, I don't know, what is the murder rate in Mexico? Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it's... Higher than it is in the United States of America. Still? Yeah. Okay, just checking. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Tw- 28 per 100,000 people in Mexico, 7 per 100,000 people in the United States. Okay, well, that's only four times <laughs> the rate of the United States of America. No, I wouldn't worry that's about it. numbers I can understand. Mexico first. <laughs> just keep that in mind. Mexico first. Avocados from Mexico. This is Pat Gray, Unleashed. On overtime today, which posts at what? 12? 12 is it 12 Eastern? Eastern? Yep. 11 Central. Uh, it's our conversation with Alex Jones. You don't want to miss it. So if you're not a subscriber, you got to be a Blaze TV subscriber. Go to blazetv.com. And uh, do the Pat Bingo 30 mm-hmm. uh, promo code, and you'll save $30 off your subscription. You can get that right away. Go to blazetv.com. Is it slash Pat? Blazetv.com? Well, I just say go to blazetv.com because yeah. I, I, blaze I don't know this for a fact, but I just mm. don't want the website to automatically put in the. It will automatically yeah, put in the. Yeah, it'll put in the, 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 mm. the lower discount if you do slash pat yep so that's oh, why you want to go to okay. just blaze tv.com, blaze TV.com when we're offering something bigger yep and it's pat bingo 30 mm-hmm. okay because oh pat gray bingo started today and sure there may or may not oh yeah we haven't have been some uh you and i haven't compared already notes during the show yeah we need to do, do you that. have your card over there anywhere i do okay just checking do. making sure you have mm-hmm. a card over the weekend another video broke of Kate Middleton. Now, if you've been following the royal family scandal, I guess they, scandal. they put, they put scandal. out scandal. British Mother's Day is a different day than ours. They already had theirs last week or last Sunday, I think it was. Not yesterday, but the week before. And so she put out this photo <laughs> on Mother's Day, and it was apparently AI generated or oh, whatever. Oh, so that meant all kinds of things. Uh, and so people started speculating she's dead. She, I don't know. They're divorced. Uh, Harry killed somebody. I mean, so much weirdness <laughs> going on. And so now she did this video where she announced she has cancer. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. And now that's being... I wanted yeah. to take this opportunity to say thank you personally uh-huh. for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. Bing. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. Mm-hmm. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, mm. and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. Mm. 
My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This of course came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. Huh. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. Hmm. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. Okay, there so they're making some kind of Conspiracy out of that. There yeah, is. Too, yes, right? there is. There's, there's a, a lot. There's, there's a, lot. a lot. Yeah. First of all, can we just address the annoying bird noise in the background? This <laughs> one particular bird just wouldn't shut up. Mm -hmm. And I feel that if the video was fake, you would use a different soundtrack than that. But what 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 are people saying? Chris? So we got the background wind. So Joe, you can play as I'm talking. You can see. Oh, you that. got you brought you brought. No, the, no, no. Just oh, okay, the same okay. video. Just okay. play it normal. As you can see, the leaves and the grass and the trees are not moving. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Then you have her. Okay, is it windy though? Do we know if it's <laughs> windy? They're outside. Something so, should move. Maybe the wind is not blowing <laughs> at all. Have you ever been out on a calm day? Not in Texas. Not in Texas. I have. Bad example. Yes. It's happened. But this okay. is pretty, Yeah, right. Okay, so what and else are they the saying? And the other one is her wedding <laughs> rings keeps wow. glitching. Keeps glitching. It disappears every time she moves her hands. Oh, it wow. It disappears. I didn't know this. Oh, my then goodness. Then they're talking about how her sweater, I think this was okay. the, you brought so, up, so, so the sweater uh, has appeared in a previous uh, online video, which we know if you're a celebrity, you just never wear the same thing or twice in public. Or the future queen of England. Future queen yeah. of England, yeah. So they're, they're saying that uh, they lifted that picture to use for this AI here. The other things I've seen... Uh, bantied about and i don't want to steal some of your things here have you heard about her nostrils are different the mole is missing which i don't know i, I didn't you zoom in tell. on it yeah yeah you can't tell but uh, here's my question though here's my question if she looks that normal right there which mm -hmm. she completely did then why did you have to stage that photo a week ago that's what's so weird. Yeah, that's what everybody's like. Because you could have done this right here. She looks yeah, great, in my kids. opinion. Yeah, she does. She looks fine. I don't know. That's weird. But uh, what, any other uh, mm. any other things that show that it's not Kate? Uh, well, they're saying that China, Russia, and the other one are are pushing all this to oh, I see. undermine okay. the royal. But they don't even play that much for all in the world. They're just a tourist attraction. So <laughs> they're a tourist attraction. I mean, my. Hmm. My big thing with this is, what's the deal with the royal family mm -hmm. getting cancer? Turbo cancers are on the rise. I don't know if you saw that. They I mean, are. It's probably just a coincidence. And by the way, uh, King Charles is upset because his uh, treatment is taking longer than they promised him. Mm. Oh. But him mm. and Kate were in the hospital at the same time, they right? Yeah, yeah, hanging out. But uh, I honestly, honest question. Did the royal family, and I don't know this, when they got the shot, because Kate... Did I mean? There's a video of her online getting the oh yeah COVID they vaccine. Did they get them at the same time? In other words, did they possibly get a bad batch with the turbo cancers on the rise? As I mentioned, uh, you've got Kate's got cancer. Uh, King Charles has got cancer. Um, the Queen was struck down in the prime of her life. That's what I thank you for bringing her yeah. up. Yeah, at the tender was, age of 99. 98. I oh, swear, 99. I 99. swear that mm -hmm. what's her name, Liz Truss or whatever, mm -hmm. was Prime Minister for four minutes. Oh, yeah. She met with the queen. The queen died. Something's up with that, by Killed the way. Her. 
Killed her dead. Hey, but, we could have her on the show and talk to her about her. But the, there was an article that just talked about how, you know, cancers uh, normally uh, affect people when they're in their 60s or beyond. But my goodness, here lately, mm. it, it's been striking people uh, that are younger mm-hmm. than 50. I mean, she's like 40, 41, right, Kate? She's young, yeah. And it's, yeah. I don't know. I'm sure there's nothing there, Keith. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, but I, I, mm. I have no reason to believe that that's... Not Fake. her in the video. Yeah, I don't know. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> but it's Unless, a, as people speculate, she's she's so dead. sick or dead that she can't do a video. Why would you hide that, though? What's I don't the know. motivation of I that? I don't know. So weird. Would that cause panic? Would the Brits throw off all their clothes and start running through the streets screaming? Well, it would be the second princess that is killed by the royal family. Oh, oh. whoa. What's happening here? Wow. Because uh, Princess, Di- princess uh, Diana's uh, uh-huh. brother... It's like all this is pointing just like <laughs> Princess Diana. Oh, really? He's, yeah, he's coming. He's very vocal. Like, really? Oh, oh yes. He's like well, all the like markers are there. This I'll bet is, he's popular at Buckingham. Oh, he Palace. is very popular. Yeah, yeah I bet they he throw is. parties for him every day. <sighs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna be interesting. But you know what? If they'd stop pretending there's a monarchy in Britain, Thank you. they wouldn't have any yes. of these problems at all. <laughs> Honestly, Pat. <laughs> If they if they hadn't have Stop. pretended uh, a couple of weeks ago with the fake Mother's Day picture, mm-hmm. then then well then we, this wouldn't be an issue. That she could have just released that mm-hmm. a couple of weeks yeah. ago. Yep, and and then we would, would be like, fine. oh my gosh, and then moved on. And she would have had nothing but sympathy. Yeah. So why would they? That's the thing. I don't know. It's a, weird. it why, is weird. Why would it not be her? Yeah. And B, why did they have to fake that photo? Right. I want to know. Yeah. Well. Her explanation was, yeah, I was just experimenting with some sure. things. Yep. Really? Okay. But then it came uh. out where the picture where they posted with the queen when uh, for her like 100th birthday. That was fake too. That was fake also. Yeah, that's weird. So weird. now they're now they're no longer trusted. Uh, uh, the palace is no longer a trusted place to mm-hmm. post pictures because mm-hmm. they had to redraw that one as well. Yeah. So can we get Kate that's off weird. the computer? And focus on whatever you have to focus on spiritually and mm-hmm. mentally. Uh-huh. And physically. And physically. Yeah. What a mess. It's it a very it's mess. A mess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you about Backyard Butchers. It's a Christian conservative Texas-based company dedicated to delivering the best deals in the market on high-quality beef. Your box, when it arrives, will include all born and raised American beef from ranches right here in the heartland of America. BackyardButchers.com, delivering American-raised and harvested meat from right here in American backyards to dinner tables across the country. Backyard Butchers will only source beef and chicken from American farms and deliver the cuts right to your doorstep. With over a million happy customers across the U.S., hundreds of five-star reviews on Google, and an American-based customer service team of stay-at-home moms. They'll make sure your orders are delivered right on time every single month. You can cut out the frustration from the meat aisle and go to BackyardButchers.com. You save an extra 20% off your entire order by using the promo code UNLEASHED. And when you subscribe, you'll get an additional 10% off and free shipping. Delicious American-raised beef. Don't be fooled by when it says product of the USA because that could mean it was just packaged here in the U.S., so it came from China, and it was packaged here. Then they're claiming it's an American product. Nonsense. Don't be fooled. Go to BackyardButchers.com slash Unleash. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Mm-hmm. Last night on 60 Minutes CBS News is uh, Leslie Stahl. <laughs> was perplexed by Americans' First Amendment rights. Yeah, they're talking about the uh, social media companies being in uh, mm-hmm. close, constant contact with the Biden White House. She just and can't quite understand this it, This is, uh, she huh. sucks. All right. Here's Leslie There are Stoll. people who make the accusation that going after these researchers, misinformation researchers, right, right. is tantamount to harassment. And that your goal really is to chill the research. I, I find that, that it interesting you use the word chill because 
in, in effect, what they're doing is chilling First Amendment free speech rights. Mm -hmm. When, when they're working in an right. effort to censor Americans, that's a chilling impact on speech. They say yes. what you're doing, they do, is a violation we of do. their First Amendment so rights. So us pointing out, us <laughs> doing our constitutional duty of oversight of the executive mm -hmm. branch, mm -hmm. and somehow <laughs> we're censoring, that makes no sense to me. Thank we, you. Americans, we're looking at the same thing and seeing a different truth. Well, you might see different things. I don't, I don't think you can see the different truth because truth is true. Thank okay. you. The, the Thank researchers you. say they're being chilled. That's their truth. Yeah. You were saying they're not. That's not their not. truth. So it's what's their the truth? They can do their research. God bless them. Do all the research you want. <laughs> don't use, don't, mm -hmm. don't say uh, we're, we're, we think this particular tweet is not mm -hmm. true uh, and are, are well, that's their First Amendment they're, right they're, to say that. You, well, they can say it, but they can't take it down. Well, they mm -hmm. can't take it down, and they don't. They just send their information to the companies. But when they're coordinating with government, that's a different animal. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, of course, they deny they're coordinating. They're we just went okay. round here, here are the fact round. checkers. You ready? I wonder if there's a way to like measure the shifting meaning <laughs> of misinformation. Starbird says she and her team feel intimidated by the conservatives' campaign. Good. Uh. So while they will continue releasing their research reports on yeah. misinformation, yeah. They will no longer send their findings to the social media platforms. Good! <laughs> Good! Jeez, oh, man, that is crazy. She can't, she can't comprehend the fact that they're trying to squelch free speech. Yeah, one thing I never heard in that report last night wow. on 60 Minutes, I never heard that the Biden administration will stop their coordinating efforts with social media giants. Mm -hmm. Well, because they won't. They won't. They're getting away with it. Why would they stop? Leslie Stahl, she's 82. Hang it up. Is she really? Stop it. She's pretty well-preserved, 82. Wow. Why don't you go and enjoy huh. retirement? <laughs> That'd be nice, yeah. But 80, wow, 82. Mm -hmm. Whew. Uh, did you see that the majority of Palestinians still support Hamas? Still <laughs> want them in control of the Gaza Strip and uh, the West Bank? But remember, when your favorite pro-Palestinian rally is happening in your towns, it's not pro-Hamas. No, no, no. No. <clears throat> but in fairness to the Palestinians, you, you can see why they love Hamas so much. Okay. They've turned the Gaza Strip into a paradise. Am I right? <laughs> it's a little slice of heaven on earth. It's, I don't know, it's reminiscent of Tahiti or Fiji or something. It's just absolutely beautiful. And the manufacturing that comes out of there to... You know, increase the the base of wealth in that area is incredible. I mean, how many Palestinian products do you have at home? How many do you own? You can't even count them. <laughs> Let's see. What do I got here? I mean, okay. when you look for the label "Made in the Gaza Strip," right? You know, you're. I mean, that's on everything, isn't it? I'm just looking to see if I have any bomb-making <laughs> materials in my drawer. No, I don't have anything no? from Palestinians. Ah, huh, that's weird. That's weird. Gazan support for for Hamas and their control over the Gaza Strip has increased, increased more than 50%, a 14-point rise during the last uh, past several months. Increased. <laughs> Jeez. The poll surveyed 1,580 adults, determined that almost all Palestinians think Israel is committing war crimes. Most all believe Hamas is not committing war crimes. Hmm. While support for Hamas's October 7th terror attack on Israel dropped by 11 points in the West Bank compared to three months ago, the numbers rose by 14 points among those living in the Gaza Strip. They still support Hamas. Wow. Wow. When asked about their own preferences for the party that should be in control, 59%, 64% uh, in the West Bank, and 52% in the Gaza Strip selected Hamas. So support for the return of Hamas in the Gaza Strip reached uh, 63%, with a 7-point increase in the Gaza Strip compared to only a 2-point increase in the West Bank. <laughs> so, I mean, they support all of this. To this day. Yep. Sure do. It's outrageous. God. And but but free Palestine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
Get them back uh, to Hamas running that place because they're doing such a great job. Such a great job. So yesterday, I guess we were hit by a severe G4 geostorm, geomagnetic yeah. storm. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it looked like it mostly dipped down into uh, like northern Europe, right? Northern Asia. I don't know. <laughs> and what did it do? I, I, well, I haven't heard of it. Have I missed something on this, Chris? Are you familiar with this? Uh, there was a, a warning that came out early yesterday, and then by the afternoon, you know, that talk had pretty much subsided. So I guess nothing. Did, did you oh. experience anything uh, uh, in your neck of the woods? But uh, uh, it was, My it was power serious. went out. I don't know if it was caused by that. I think my electric company just keeps... Didn't your guys' power get knocked out recently? Oh, We're yeah. all on the same company. Yeah, I think yeah. our company Four hours is rolling yesterday. blackouts without I telling think they us. Are. And they, I think they are, too, because yeah. they did it twice last week. Yep. And, you know, normally if it's an accidental outage, they don't send you a... a they don't. They don't send you a text saying, oh, by the way, your power's out. We're working on it. Okay. So, you have to call them and say, yes. hey, my power's out. Yeah. Is, that, is there something going on? Okay, and it's not even 110 degrees yet. Right. I mean, it, it was 60 Yesterday, what is happening? maybe. And then if you misreport it, you get fined for misreporting. No, your power is not out. I'm like, bro, it's out. My what? lights are off. You you get fined? You get fined what? if you misreport what? that the lights are out. Yes. Because I had a fight with them. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, the light is out. Like, I'm not just calling you to tell you, oh hey, how are you today? They'll find you. Jeez. Yes. I'm so jealous of my neighbor. Every time the power goes out, you just hear the... <laughs> <laughs> His generator starting up, man. It's immediate. It's and like, that's how you know. <laughs> oh, that's. But that is cool. Now you know it's that not you, great. not just you. Yes. Because see, yes. when it happened for me a but couple of weeks re ago, reinforces the fact that I still haven't done that. Yeah. I need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to write a post-it note. Remind yourself later. Yes, I might. But but see, you're right though. You normally get a a text. A text yeah. yeah. I only found yes. out a couple of weeks ago because my next door neighbor texted me. He's like, "Hey, is your power out too?" And I'm like, "Well, nobody's home." And oh. so that's how I had to figure it out. Yeah. And and then I whatever. My point is, I think that our electric company, gentlemen, mm -hmm. is they're doing rolling first, blackouts. First of all, they're garbage. Yes. Second of all, but they're, they're the only, only game in town where only we game. live. Yeah, I know, man. You, that's you got the no thing. choice. That's the socialism. Thing. Yep. So, Sucks. Chris, are you running for office uh, on the board there? With I, our, I'm, I'm waiting for my guy to actually <laughs> run. But yes, I will be running for board. Will you really? Oh, 100%. for real, you are. Yes. Oh, good yeah. for you. Yeah, all I need is a hundred signatures, and I bypass them. Oh wow! And oh. I'm straight in the back. Well, I live in that area. Can I? Where do I sign? We're not on the same district. Oh, we're not. No. Okay. Are you and I on the same district? No. <sighs> That's cuts by can we sign though? Can we sign your name? Like, can we? On the, sure. The thing. It's fraud, but yeah. Oh, it's it. fraud. It's got to be in your district. It might cut be, back yeah. on your chances. It Think about this, Pat. Fraud. If we have issues with uh, our electric company, we can just come and complain to him if he's right? on the board. Yeah, oh, like we can make your life a living hell. Oh, I like have you guys gotten a uh, check back from them? Because you know they're, so, they're non-profit, so we're supposed to get whatever money they did not spend, you're supposed to get a check back at the end of the oh, year. Oh, that has never happened. Never. What? Never happened, right? Yeah, never, never happened. Okay. Not ever, once. Ever. All right. Not ever. That's my platform that I'm going to run on. We've lived here for 12 years now. And how many checks have you that. gotten? No, uh, zero. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, let me count. Bring, okay. Yeah, count one. again, please. Uh, none. Oh, yeah, right. zero. But they've gotten plenty of checks from oh. me. Yes, they have. <laughs> Monthly. And thank you, Joe Biden, because, uh, boy, <laughs> the amount I pay now compared to just a few years ago. So much less, right? Oh, they're saving no. us. 158% a a more I'm paying. 158% oh, more. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's... That is not sustainable. No, that's crazy. Yeah. Jeez. I love the fact that uh, Biden is peddling more lies, too. He, uh, This latest thing, um, I don't think we have the audio for it, but he was standing there with Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi. And he... Oh, no. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We didn't send this in. Yeah. He's talking about... He said... So awkward. Uh, just a few days ago, Donald Trump asked a famous question in one of his rallies. Are you better off today than you were four years ago? And, of course, the answer for almost everybody on this, on this continent is no. I'm <laughs> not better off today than I was four years ago. Uh, but he continued, Well, Donald, I'm glad you asked that question, <laughs> man. I hope everyone in the country takes a moment to think back 
on what it was like in March of 2020. Mm. Uh, then he said this. Remember when he said inject bleach? No, oh, I go. don't. And you know why I don't remember? Because he didn't say it! That's why! <laughs> I think he must have done it. Thinking he's funny and... You, you can't, as President of the United States, continue to disparage people like this when he, that is not what he said. He didn't say that. He did say, he didn't say anything about bleach. It was disinfectant. Remember, disinfectant kills it right away, and we're looking into light and whether light can kill it. Maybe you can do light inside your body. Or disinfectant, can you do something with injecting disinfectant or whatever? He was talking about light and disinfecting the whatever the germ was inside you that causes COVID-19. He never said you should inject bleach into your body. <laughs> but they keep lying about that. I guess it's okay. I, I guess that's fine for the President of the United States to continue to lie through his face about an American citizen. Huh. All right. Whatever. Coming up on Overtime today, it's our Alex Jones interview. So if you're not a member, if you're not a Blaze subscriber, please go to blazetv.com, enter the promo code Pat Bingo 30 and you'll save $30 off your subscription and hear that interview today. This is Pat Gray Unleashed.